NigeriaPlanet.com. Uh, the conflict was the result of serious tensions. Oh, excuse me, let me start from the beginning. Nigerian Civil War, 1967-1970, was an ethnic and political conflict caused by the attempted secession of the southeastern provinces of Nigeria as the self-proclaimed Republic of Biafra. The war became notorious for the starvation in some of the besieged war-bound regions and the consequent claims of genocide made by the largely Igbo people of those regions. The conflict was the result of serious tensions, both ethnic and religious, between the different peoples of Nigeria. Like most modern African nations, Nigeria was an artificial construct, but together by agreement between European powers paying little regard to historical African boundaries or population groups. The Nigeria which received independence from Britain in 1960 had a population of 60 million people of nearly 300 different ethnic and tribal groups. Of the ethnic groups that made up Nigeria, the largest were the largely Muslim Hausa in the north, the Yoruba in the half-Christian, half-Muslim southwest, and the Igbo in the predominantly Christian southeast. At independence, a conservative political science, excuse me, a conservative political allegiance Alliance excuse me, uh, had been made between the leading Hausa and Igbo political parties which ruled Nigeria from 1960 to 1966. This alliance <laughs> excluded the Western Yoruba people. The well-educated Igbo people were considered by many to be the main beneficiaries of this alliance, taking most of the top jobs and leading businesses, blah, blah, blah. The Yoruba Westerners had supported a left-leaning reformist party, the Action Group, which was antipathetic to the conservative North, er, northern Muslim bloc. A palace clue by conservative elements in the West led to the formation of a more conservative Yoruba party, the NNDP, prepared to go into alliance with the House of Northerners. So, as the elections come on, the Nigerian National Alliance of the Muslim North and the conservative elements in the West face off against the United Progressive Glad Alliance of the Christian East and the progressive elements among the Westerners. The Alliance of North and West won a crushing victory under Sir Abu Bakar Tafawa Balewa. A piece of fucking shit, I might add. And I continue. Amid claims of widespread electoral fraud, the claims of fraud led to a military coup on January 15, 1966 by left-leaning junior army officers, mostly majors and captains. The coup led to the ascension of General Agui Aronsi, the head of the Nigerian army as head of the state of Nigeria. The coup benefited mostly the Igbos because most of the coup plotters were Igbos and Aronsi and Igbo promoted many Igbos in the army at the expense of Yoruba and House of Officers. Well, no fucking shit. Who the fuck you think are the traitors? That's like saying, oh, a Juku promoted his staff instead of giving these Boko Haram guys a, a place in his staff. He, he, he hired these trustworthy Igbos who actually were fucking educated, unlike those motherfucking beasts in the north. And I continue. Not that I give a shit about poverty or really the white man's education. But the point is, when you're talking about a job and who can actually do the motherfucker, anyway. <sighs> the Northerners executed a counter coup. This coup was led by a piece of shit, aka Lieutenant Colonel Murtala Muhammad. It placed Lieutenant Colonel Yakuba Gowan, the ballless fucking little pussy fucking half pint bitch, into power. Ethnic tensions due to the coup and counter coup increased and led to the large scale massacres of Christian Igbos living in the Muslim North. Now, does that remind you of anything? I'm going to end it right here before I take somebody's fucking head off. We'll continue in the next video.